All right, the last question's from Andrew, and he's wondering if Mike has a working theory on why supernatural occurrences haven't happened in mass since the resurrection of Jesus. Yeah, my working theory is how would we know? I mean, just just think about the question a little bit. First of all, what does en masse mean? I mean, the largest miracle in the New Testament was 500 people. Okay, so is that en masse? Is it 10? Is it 500? Is it 1,000? Is it a million? I mean, it's hard to even quantify that. And how would we ever know whether some, another group of 500 people didn't witness a true miracle at some remote point in the Gobi Desert in the 8th century? Okay, our, our, our recorded historical resources are extraordinarily limited. There was no TV. There's no audio recording. There's no internet. In other words, how do we know? And my position, again, my theory is we don't know. Now, in this regard, I think for people who wonder about this, I would recommend, again, they're a little expensive. I don't get a kickback. You know, I'm not, nothing like that. I would recommend Craig Keener's two volumes, a recent two volume work on miracles. They're thick, they're dense. And Craig goes through lots and lots and lots and lots of sources that we do have, and which is an infinitesimal amount of data compared to the totality of human experience at all times and all places since the resurrection. So this is a, a minute percentage. But what's actually recorded in terms of miraculous events is a lot bigger than people think. Uh, again, we're we're used to judging these sorts of things by our own life experience, by the experience of our own family, by what we might see in media that are available to us today. Again, we, we need to widen the net a little bit. And I would suggest reading that, getting those. Again, it, uh, I'll admit, and Craig doesn't have anything to do with this either. I I, I know Craig Keener. He's a, he's a wonderful guy. But his his focus, his area of study, he's a New Testament scholar. He's he does a lot with spiritual gifts and, and miracles and whatnot. Uh, he's a I think I could describe him as a small C charismatic um, you know kind of person, at least in his tradition. But he is he's a, a legit bona fide scholar. Might might actually be a, something we could entertain to get Craig on the podcast if if this is sort of a, a topic of interest. I'm, I'm sure he would do it. But there's a lot more out there as far as quote unquote evidence for this than you might think. But again, how would we really know is again my my working position. I I just don't see any way we would we would be able to read the question and consider it factual because there's just no way to know one way or the other. 